the new Mi Band 3 is awesome. But can it be the Mi Band 2 or in terms of popularity? Only the time can show us. I'm here to get you up to speed with all the specifications and features of the new third generation of this really wonderful fitness tracker. My name is Michael, welcome to the Tech for All channel. Like almost always, Xiaomi have different versions of their products, uh, some to be sold in China locally and some for international release. Meaning that the Mi Band 3 has a Chinese and an international version. And until international suppliers get the global model in stock, we will see how it gets flashed with the English ROM. I know that you're also interested in how it differs from the Mi Band 2. And as soon as we cover the specs and the features, we're going to make a summary of both. Packaging first. Unboxing experience is fine. There's a good looking box. The quality of the band seems to be all right. Not sure what the OLED display is covered with, but didn't scratch as much as I expected throughout the three weeks of usage. Strap is similar to the Mi Band 2, but my hope to have the same size and respectively straps were dashed as soon as I placed them side by side. Apparently, this is not the international version, and like mentioned, that is not a road blocker. Main issue is that the tutorial is in Chinese, but the firmware and the smartphone app are done in a way that you basically need no user guidance. Before we get into technical specs, there are two easy steps that you have to follow in order to flash it in English from its original Chinese state. Get the Mi Fit app, the version linked in the description below, and run it. It will discover the band and will ask you to update the firmware. And that would be it. A few minutes and you will have your fitness tracker in English. The firmware update itself takes a while, so make sure to be patient. My attempts to find out the processor inside were unsuccessful, but certainly it is a step up from the Mi Band 2. As for the rest of the hardware, you're getting a larger screen that can show more data. There are more functions, waterproof rating for swimming, and there's a version with NFC support, which costs around 15 bucks more. Battery is also larger, now 110 milliamp hours, compared to 70 for the predecessor. But the autonomy time has decreased a bit because of all the new features. The smarter it gets, the more power it is going to consume. I mentioned there are new features, let's get to know them. The display is now touch. Swiping vertically and horizontally will guide you through the menus. And to activate some of the functions, you need to apply long press, which the watch is going to indicate when possible. There's an easy way to view the summary of your activities. Much better structure than the Mi Band 2. Heart rate is also there. And via the app, you can activate continuous heart rate measurement with intervals no frequent than one minute which still is quite good for analysis. You don't have real-time data of these values on the tracker though. Weather forecast is there too. You can check it for the next three days and there is a way to specify the location manually. Next, you can see the notification, highly configurable, but I decided to mostly not use them because the text display here is really small, despite the fact the screen is actually slightly bigger than on the Mi Band 2. The last option, the More menu, is grouping the rest of the features. You're going to find a stopwatch, the About section, screen config and silent options. You have a choice among a few faces. No one of them is perfect, but I guess that's the best Xiaomi have come up with. I love the silent option. In fact, there's no need to touch it. Put your phone into silent mode and the ban goes silent too. That's pretty awesome. And this is how far we can go with the band itself. The app is going to significantly enhance your experience. Apparently, the Mi Band 3 has no embedded GPS. And if you need to have precise information about your sport activities, you can have your smartphone's GPS borrowed, which will make it quite effective and even competing with much more expensive brands. At the end, this is not a pro-grade band meaning that the smartphone requirement is just fine and suits most of the people that are actually going to pick this one. If you're a professional athlete, most likely there are tons of other professional sport watches that would be better suitable. 
I found the heart rate monitor to be quite accurate and the connection with the app is much better than what it used to be with the Mi Band 2. A lot more features are accessible and you have more config options. Among with that, you can rely on seeing your previous activities. Good news is that Google Fit Sync works out of the box. Uh, there is no synchronization with Strava, though. Now, a lot of you were wondering whether to pick the Mi Band 3 or the Mi Band 2. Here are my thoughts. The build quality of the Mi Band 3 is superior. Honestly, I do prefer the design of the 2 and right now an advantage of the Mi Band 2 is the huge variety of straps and other crazy accessories. For the Mi Band 3, it will be more difficult to have a screen protector and it may look ugly. The display is glossier but still better visible. Just like the 2, it has almost zero visibility on direct sunlight especially if you have sunglasses. So it is very suitable for people that spend a lot of time indoors and in offices. It offers some fabulous new features. Silent mode, which is automatically synchronized with your smartphone, continuous heart rate, if I may call it like that, weather forecast, NFC option, touch controls and watch faces. There's waterproof rating and the Band 3 is good for swimming. And last but not least, looking at the strap design, it looks like after continuous usage you won't have any troubles with the watch popping out of the strap, which is very common for the Mi Band 2 after 6-7 to seven months of usage. The only obvious downgrade is the slightly shorter battery life, although the battery capacity is now higher, uh, 70 mAh for the Mi Band 2 versus 110 mAh for the Mi Band 3. But this battery life was sort of expected, keeping in mind all the great features that arrive with the new version. Although I don't like to wear smart bands, this one felt excellent and I had zero issues for the three weeks of using it. It looks like Xiaomi have granted themselves another very easy win against everything else you can buy at the price of around $30. So yeah, that's a decent upgrade to the second generation which maintains a kind of the same price. And that's been everything I wanted to tell you about the third generation of the Mi Band, which happens to be the most popular series of fitness trackers right now. It's been a great pleasure to have you as a guest in the last few minutes here on the channel. Make sure to check some of the other videos around. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure to like, subscribe, enjoy life, and I'll see you soon. Bye.